This video will focus on the use of copyright licenses in Portfolio. When uploading your own work to Portfolio, you can choose between several different licenses which define how and if your work can be used by others. Choosing a license when uploading your work to a public platform is a very important decision and many factors need to be considered. When you are the author of an original work, it is protected by copyright. As the author, you have the right to use it and share it as you like. According to copyright law, others need to ask for your permission to use, modify, copy or share your work. When you make your work public in showroom, it is basically protected by copyright. However, Creative Commons licenses are convenient because they allow for others to use your work under clear terms and restrictions. Choosing a Creative Commons license will make the international distribution easier and will ultimately benefit you and others. You can choose a license when uploading media to your portfolio entry. You may also change the license of the file afterwards. Click on Edit, select the file and choose the license you want to apply to the selected file. If your work has already been published with a specific license, you may change it with a license that allows more privileges to others. But you cannot retroactively restrict users after you have already allowed them. For instance, you may change from full copyright protection to non-commercial, no derivatives, but not the other way around. Publishing under copyright severely limits the use of your work. In addition, copyright law is different depending on the country where your work was produced, published or reproduced, which will define for how long your work is protected, as well as under which circumstances it can still be reproduced. Consult the national and international copyright law to understand its limits. Creative Commons attribution, on the other hand, allows unrestricted copying, reuse and modification. You can choose from various Creative Commons licenses and restrict the use accordingly, for example, prohibiting them from commercial purposes. These regulations are internationally standardized and can be sued accordingly. The Creative Commons licenses are a combination of four different concepts that translate to different uses and terms of distribution. These are attribution, no derivatives, share alike and non-commercial. To learn more about these concepts and to find the right license for you, visit the Creative Commons website. There you can define, step by step, all the requirements under which your work may be reused. You can now decide which license is most suitable for your own work. If your work depicts recognizable people and its caption or context can be considered to be harming the legitimate interests or if the photograph is in any way invading the privacy, you need to ask the individual for their consent to publish it. This is also the case in public spaces if the legitimate interest of the person depicted may be infringed by you publishing the photo. You may also publish someone else's work in showroom, however, you have to make sure that you are respecting the author's licenses. If it is, for example, a work of public domain, choose the Creative Commons Zero license. If a work is not licensed under Creative Commons, you must contact the right holders and ask for permission to use the image. National collecting societies, like Bildrecht Agentur in Austria, have databases where you can find out any artist's representative to inquire about the use of one of their artworks. For a work that contains many different illustrations, such as an exhibition catalog, upload a list of illustrations with all the necessary information to correctly cite the source of the material used. Each image should be easily identifiable, so do use very clear file names, for instance, by following the order which these were mentioned in your text. Provide name of the author, title of the work, credit for the photographer, and the source of the image you have used. There is no need to add a list of figures on entries where few photographers are credited. Just add them as contributors and specify their role. Now you know what to look out for when you publish works in showroom.